Finally, something that I have been highly anticipating has been revealed and it's very exciting because a lot of you guys are really going to enjoy it. The Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis official Twitter page tweeted out a really cool link last night and I think they forgot to announce one thing, but the Japanese page kind of did it, but I'm expecting that announcement to officially be made tonight. But we actually have an official look at what Barrett's outfit looks like and a bunch of other characters as well. And it was revealed in a pretty, pretty fun way. I'm not going to lie. Ever Crisis officially releases two weeks from today. So make sure you guys are already pre-registered and get those numbers up so we can get all those crazy rewards. And hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all the latest for that game. And also, we're going to be playing some Armored Core later around 6 p.m. Eastern time. So that'll be pretty fun here live on YouTube. But if we head over to the official Twitter page, it says a campaign is now being held. This was last night, like about 15 hours ago, by the way. A campaign is now being held on the Japanese official account. Follow them and, and RT to get a uh, random image of a character wearing the exclusive Ever Crisis outfit. The outfits will be available in game for exchange via the gear voucher times one, which is funny because uh, the last announcement that they made involving the uh, the gear voucher or the, the previous rewards, it never said it that we actually got it. Uh, we had just did 1.2 million and we were still on our way to this and get the exchange voucher, which we can choose which which outfit we want specifically. And it's cool to see that it's not just between Aerith, Cloud and Tifa. It's every character. So now going through their tweet and you guys can participate in this too if you want. They actually show that they have all the characters in the game lined up as of right now and in a mysterious silhouette form. You can kind of see the bottom half or bottom third of the outfit. If you retweet it, you get a reply with a random image. And so last night I kind of retweeted this like 20 times and they sent me a lot of images for some reason i could not get the cloud and zach outfits to appear as well as Aerith too so and shout out to legions he actually sent me the ones that i was missing so appreciate that but when you retweet it they actually tag you in it right here and uh if you translate it says thank you for participation delivering the image of i would assume that's barrett uh flaming cloak is what this outfit is called please exchange it for your favorite wear in the game with the reward for reaching 1.5 million people so officially we reach 1.5 million but the best part about this is we get an official look at what barrett's outfit is and it's so damn good this is like barrett snake yo metal gear barrett right I just this dude looks amazing absolutely fire design I really, really enjoy this a lot. I hope this is something close to what he will eventually wear in Rebirth. If they go to like a cold area, this is just so damn cool, man. Military gear. And what's funny is if you look at everybody's outfit, which I'm going to show you guys just now, everybody seems to have like knee pads, elbow pads, and in general, like crazy extra padding and a lot of belts as it is in line with Nomura's vision. But it's not just Barrett. We have a lot of people that they were able to showcase to us. They actually have Matt's outfit right here, which... Uh, <laughs> I will agree with Legions. It does look like some Harry Potter shit. <laughs> it's kind of cool, but like, yo, what's up with these shoes, man? He doesn't have shoelaces. He tied his jeans to his shoes. I mean, he might be onto something right there. <laughs> we got Aerith, of course. We absolutely love this one, but we get a full uh, top to bottom look at exactly what it uh, appears like. And it's really cool because it definitely is Genesis inspired because if you remember in Dirge of Cerberus, at least you see these little like... Um, flaps that hang off of like Genesis's uh, jacket. Uh, to Aerith actually has that, which is nice looking I, I like this design a lot i'm probably getting this honestly with the voucher <laughs> uh red 13 we did get a look at this in the trailer when i had slowed it down and showed it to you guys we get a full look at the entire body kind of interesting i don't know if this is like kind of like a saddle like, i'm thinking like catch she riding him like how he did in, uh, avid children but no don't, don't reduce my boy to that you know, don't reduce red to that let, let, let catch she do his own thing with his with his damn stuff moogle the blinding aspect of it definitely is genesis inspired genesis clones in wutai and also later on in the game too we're blindfolded with a very similar style not a fan of the muzzle i don't know if this if he's muzzled or not but it, it does kind of seem like that you can't really tell if it, it kind of goes underneath and you see the other end on this way yeah <laughs> it is it is what it is but you know lab rat dog looking really fire with this and i mean combined with this and uh where's barrett hold on <laughs> think about like metal gear solid 5 phantom pain diamond dogs venom barrett that's pretty cool but yeah that's red and uh we have lucia well, i don't know why this image is so much lower quality but this is lucia uh she's one of the new characters from final fantasy 7 ever crisis that'll be taking place in the first soldier story she kind of looks like a watchdogs character i can't lie. i mean it's just a hoodie 
So this is a mysterious like black ops like hoodie, but definitely gives me like Watch Dogs vibes because she is wearing a hat underneath the hoodie. And of course, Cloud, uh, we already talked about this a lot. I, I, I'm not a big fan of this uh, outfit. I think the samurai one looks better and I was kind of hoping for something a little bit more different. Maybe I would even take the, the Kingdom Hearts design, honestly, that that would look really cool. Not saying this isn't in line with Cloud. I just feel like this is boring and not really that inspired considering that the other outfit already is similar, right? Long black cloak samurai drip and kind of resembles the avid children look and this kind of uh, sort of copies that and those the shoulder pads are, it, it's more like barbaric more warrior style i get it but i feel like they could have done a little bit better with this it's not my personal favorite but some people might enjoy it so that's that's cool if you really do like it and we got glenn right here yo glenn wearing some very interesting like mad max style vibes to it uh <laughs> this definitely reminds me of tifa tifa's arm guard the necklace definitely does look very familiar i can't personally place it but shout out to dustman on twitter i'll be linking his video below in the description he does give a cool little theory explaining some backstory and symbolism for it i'll be sure to link that for you guys to check out but it's a very interesting design a uh, tora wife beater underneath <laughs> and man i just i really love this barrett design this is really really cool now i'm torn i don't know what to use my voucher on am i gonna use my voucher on the barrett outfit or am i gonna use it on the Aerith outfit guys let me know in the comments below which one do you think i should be using my voucher on and also which one are you guys gonna be using your voucher on because you know it's a free-to-play game get those rewards the amount of stuff they're giving us you won't have to spend money on this game for quite some time and we got the teefster yo tifa we actually i you know what's funny me and legions was talking about this last night when this was revealed i did i had no idea that she even had leg guards if you go back to the trailer now after seeing this you can see she does have leg guards it's actually just it it, it passes by so fast and in motion you don't really notice it which i did not and i mean seeing the full shot of it i do like the outfit a little bit more however the leg guards do look a little bit weird so hopefully in uh combat and with her in a battle pose it does give off a different vibe but like yo you actually over here on the mighty ducks bro lots of knee pads in these new outfits and then of course we got into zach's outfit uh first off this man's wearing three belts all right next to each other he really does not want these pants to come down at all and not only that admittedly i get like titus vibes titus titus what do you guys say and uh it looks very similar to that it reminds me also of zell someone mentioned zell on twitter which is really cool not sure how i feel about the the leg guards it does look cool but i feel like showing a little bit of skin here would have been a really cool contrast seeing as how we don't see anymore like i i mean i'm just critiquing designs at this point but it does look cool i will honestly unlock this organically i wouldn't use a voucher on this for me personally now i will be very upset if i get a really a really amazing weapon for zach now i'm like okay well i need to get the outfit right <laughs> but yeah that's uh that's pretty much it for all the the character outfits so far out of all of these guys which one do you like the most i i can't lie like this this cloud one has to be the weakest design it's in between in my opinion i think the lucia and cloud ones just don't feel as inspired i guess i know some people will like them but i just don't feel like they're that special definitely Aerith and definitely barrett i mean barrett's outfit might have just jumped over Aerith for me but i'm torn i am so torn between the designs and i think because i didn't get a chance to really level up barrett in the the beta i will most definitely be giving this man some shine but what's really cool though is also please note we did hit that 1.5 million uh based off of what the japanese twitter page and the english twitter page have been saying so i think that is actually really really cool because they're saying that yo you can actually use these to, uh the, they're available for the in-game voucher they're not saying like oh if we get to it they're, they're saying that you can you can use it so that's actually really cool to know but they haven't officially announced that yet that will probably be tonight because they they normally tweet around nine after 9 p.m so usually it's like 10 p.m 9 p.m 11 p.m it's like they, they start tweeting at that those times yeah 10 p.m for this glenn tweet and 10 p.m for this tweet right here so it's like yo look for like 10 p.m tonight 9 p.m ish they'll be probably making an announcement for that i want to know what you all think comment below and let's get a discussion going for those that are really interested and excited for armored core don't worry we're actually gonna be getting ready to go live and play it soon so i hope you guys come through and check it out i'll be posting the stream link live below in the um the comments so you guys can come through until then be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new more final fantasy videos are on the way never crisis is coming out soon i can't wait you don't want to miss that my name is blitz and thanks for watching